Hello and welcome once again, my friends. This music is so loud before we get into the game, so I hope it will quickly switch over. Wow. Alright, we're going to load. Someday we're going to load here, I promise. This is... Awkward. There we go. Okay, I was just trying to be ready with escape. All right, the stream is up on Twitch. I can see it. I know it's there. And how are you all doing? Woo! I gotta tell you, man. Uh, it, it, there was not a lot of sleeping last night. I'll tell you that much. Woo! Uh, let's get this out of the way. Uh, so first off, uh, before we do anything about me. Um, I want to shout out to you guys. Uh, YouTube, you guys are going off. And I, I I know, you know, some of it may just be automated stuff. May I'll backtrack immediately. But uh, huge pop. And YouTube cycles like that every couple of weeks. You get a, a spike, right? But if you're new here, if you're coming over, if YouTube recommended the VOD and you're catching these things and you're seeing the beginning of it, hey, I'm Habage. Welcome. Uh, we play some chill video games here. We try to play them hardcore. We try to play them well. But we definitely have a chill chat. Uh, we're over here live on Twitch. If you uh, care to or, or use the Twitch platform at all, uh, be sure to hit me with a follow over on Twitch so you know when I'm going live pretty much uh, every day. Uh, I, think, I think currently I'm at like 27 days a month. So... Uh, it's been a good one. I, I do take these off here and there. I'm not on any streaker record. Hey, Troy, what's going on? Hang on one sec here. Uh, so YouTube folks, if you're checking out the VODs, I know they're long. Uh, these are our stream VODs. They're out there for you, but there's a lot of good quality gameplay. And two things I try to do, beginning of every stream, I try to uh, kind of recap where we're at, what we're doing in this game or any, uh, set some goals and that kind of stuff. What, hey, what might we do today? And then at the end of the stream, whether that's four or five hours, whether there's an A and a B part, if anything technical gets in the way, we might have to restart. Check the end of the stream for the day. Uh, it'll be the same episode number. It may have an A or a B part, but uh, the, the end of that episode. And we'll usually do 10, 10, 15 minutes of recapping. Where are we at? What do we get for? What are we looking forward to in the next one? So for all you VOD viewers, I know they're really long. You probably won't watch each and every minute of it. But do be sure to check that out, and you can kind of jump around. We'll cover the highlights at the end, and if you're like, oh, man, they did that, well, then uh, then scroll back, and you can check it out, what we've done uh, since the, the beginning or end of the last episode. But I know YouTube folks usually get, like, you know, 10 minutes in or so, see how it's all going, check in and go. Uh, definitely hit the, the back end of that, too. So... There we go. I don't know, Troy, what you're asking about. Help me, <laughs> help me clarify. Now. Oh, maybe the rings on the character. Yeah, we'll cover that. The vampire ring. Um, for everybody, though, wow, holy smokes! Uh, like uh, we drop. YouTube goes up and down a little bit, and so does so do followers. But YouTube's uh, subscribers go up and down a little bit. So we dropped one. Eh, that happens. And then we got six right back. So, again, those, those may be uh, automated, but uh, you guys have definitely been pop, popping off in the comments. I appreciate you guys so much there, and I appreciate everybody that's been hanging out the last uh, last few days, new folks coming in and actually uh, getting to know us in the chat over on Twitch. If you want to be a part of that, like I said, come on over to twitch.tv, check out Habage. That's H-A-M-B-B-A-G-E, just like it's spelled right here in the game. You can see it. And... Uh, Hit a follow. You can either see the VODs or uh, or join us in the chat. As Troy is done. Troy, how's your day going, man? Are you having a good Saturday? I hope it is awesome. Welcome and congrats on being the first first voice in the chat today. Um, I am doing well, but oh man, <laughs> it has been tough. Last night was a tough, tough night. And forgive the, the slow start on Stardew here today. I got to... This is therapy. We got to get it out here. Oh my gosh! Oh, there you go. I wish I'd been able to sleep that long. I think I've been up since uh, I, I don't know. I I got out of bed at six. I was awake before that. So last night, home opener. Well, opener uh, for the Colorado University of Colorado Buffaloes football team. It was an ESPN game. 
Uh, we knew it was going to be still a struggling season. Uh, I think expectations were kind of down. And, and every year, you know, you kind of, unless you get a really good team, but uh, it, if anybody is even remotely aware of the, the past 25, 30 years of CU uh, history, going from national champions, champions and Heisman winners to kind of a, uh, a down more than up, but with some spikes to pretty much a laughing stock. Um, <laughs> it's been really, really tough. And I I have, as a fan, I've been very committed, very dedicated. Um, used to, to pay way more than I should for season tickets. With COVID, I kind of backed off that. I was like, no, I'm not, you know, I don't need all that right now. And last year I was like, oh, I can go get single tickets two games and go into the stadium it's much more affordable and frankly for the product they're put on the field i don't need the the exclusive level seats or anything like that so uh that worked out pretty well and i did that again last night went up got to see all my buddies at the tailgate had uh one of my uh, it was older older friend in college uh but i've only seen once or twice uh in the many many years decades since i, I saw him probably we were thinking like Seven, eight years ago was the last time I saw him out in Massachusetts for a game. Uh, he was there with his daughter who goes to TCU. That that always helps. Like, oh, yeah, your kids are in college. Okay, yeah, we're getting old. And uh, frankly, he's a little older than I am, so it made me feel better. But um, he came out. It was really cool. Just surprised, like, you know, random person walking up, like, hey, how are you doing? Wow. Uh, so that was cool. The whole experience see you uh boulder and colorado students and fans showed up so good i'm so proud of the the fan base came out filled the stadium we get there and it's an an eight o'clock start game on a friday night which is kind of fun it's a party type thing i was i was driving i had one beer at the beginning of a tailgate at about 5 30 um and was drinking iced tea which is why i slept so bad i'm sure um but uh so we go into the stadium and got in a little bit early because the first first game of the year, the security is always usually a mess. Just breezed right through. Like, no problem. Here you go. You're in. Uh, so get up, get the seats, watch the end of the warm-ups and all that kind of stuff. And it's kind of like, all right, let's, you know, we got, we got time for the band. And uh, if you don't know, the University of Colorado has a live mascot, actual buffalo that runs on the field. Uh, always a highlight. So she was getting ready to go. Everything's getting, you know, like, all right, here we go. It's going to be real football time. And then <laughs> there were two things that were happening at once. For one thing, uh, on ESPN, which was going to have the game, uh, Serena Williams was still playing in her final tennis match. And, you know, it was kind of like every everybody had it on their phones and was like, oh, you know, because people are texting, like, what's the game on? Are you guys at the game? What's going on? Like, oh, we think it's going to be delayed because Serena, well, they were going to move it to the ESPN News or something, you know, some alternate channel. And then I have more tea today, Troy. I, I'm not I'm not saying the tea is bad. I'm saying that drinking tea from about 10 o'clock on is not good for going to sleep two or three hours later. But uh, I have more tea now. It's what got me back up again. <laughs> so don't worry. I would never say anything bad about tea. It got it kept me from falling asleep in in an outdoor stadium. No, don't say that. You're out. Well, I hope you're having a good Saturday, dude. I'm glad you came by to say hi if you're uh, if you do have to take off. But uh, why though? What do you mean it helps? Tea. Oh, you're out of tea. I thought you're like I'm out. Mic drop. I'm gone. Um, <laughs> I got you, man. Sorry, I misread your chat there. Um, no, tea's caffeinated. At least my tea is caffeinated. I didn't get, like, decaf tea. So, yeah, anyway, just listen to the story. So, we get there. The game's supposed to start around 8. And out of nowhere, like, as the band is about to go on, and I'm never going to the stadium that early. Usually I'm, like, the strolling late guy. Uh, but I, I'm in there early, unexpectedly quick. The band's getting off. I, you know, like, okay. And then all of a sudden they pop up. There is a severe thunderstorm warning. Everyone must clear the stadium. 
And everybody just kind of laughed. Like, what are you talking about? Because we're sitting there looking up at a beautiful, like, post-sunset. You know, the clouds are still glowing. And, yeah, there's there's some, like, way up to the north that look a little more substantial. And so I pull up my phone, and I'm, like, looking at the National Weather Service page that shows the severe thunderstorms. And it's like, two towns up has it. And it's like... Maybe, you know, if if they could see lightning in a different direction, I think there's some of that kind of stuff. There was nothing. Nobody saw anything from where we were at at the stadium. And the stadium stayed packed. Like, nobody left. It was a beautiful night. It was a little warm. It was like, if it could rain, that would be kind of cool. Nothing. So we sat for 45 minutes of mythical, severe weather (laughs) on a beautiful summer night just waiting and so then they finally start the game, and uh, it started okay, but our we had a quarterback last year who was a freshman, and we had another guy coming in, and the rumors all all off season were this other guy's, you know, he he's raw, he's not polished or anything like that, but he's got real real talent. And okay, they they come out, and the the coach says we're gonna start the veteran guy. Uh, he's the, he's the star, he's the established starter from last year. He gets the, you know, he gets the nod. He didn't get beat out for the job. Okay. That's fair. They go through and it, like, you know, your hopes go up a little bit. They're playing. Okay. It's, it's uh, a couple field goals where maybe they could have gotten touchdowns, whatever. They went forward on fourth down on their first series and didn't get it. <laughs> so they turned the ball over, got bailed out on what could have been a big pick, took some false or a delay of game penalties. It was a little unpolished, but they're hanging in it. Everything's okay. And then it starts to kind of, the offense is sputtering and all that. So the very last series of the first half, the team, like the other team, punts and we get the ball on the, our one yard line backed up in the their own end zone no they put in this new quarterback and they're like here you go great starting position see what you can do with it and the very first play he runs for five yards right up the middle gets out of the end zone next play deep pass they're at midfield like 40 yard reception so in two plays this kid from out of nowhere and then he, he keeps moving it down the field they get down to at least threatening Almost gets picked off, ruled out of bounds, uh, off and on, and they end up with a Hail Mary chance at the end of the half that gets knocked away by a defender. But the kid comes in, and he's got some spark. All of a sudden, the offense is like, oh, my God, we're you know we're big shots down the field and taking these looks. And, okay, the whole stadium is like, woo, you go out at halftime, everybody's like, oh, my God, how did that guy not start? You know, well, let's go, let's go. Come back in the second half. They go back to the original guy. So they take it from, like, super exciting to, okay, we're going to do more. He goes three and out, and then they did it again. And that was when I was like, you know, I think I'm going to start beating traffic. Because in the meantime, uh, TCU had scored a couple times. And uh, they basically waited until uh, they were down by 20-some points or 18 points before they gave this other kid a chance. And that by that point, the... Uh, the other defense could just tee off on him. You know, it struggled a little bit, which is expected, but it was very, very, very frustrating for a lot of CU fans because not only did they lose, they looked like they they hadn't advanced a lot from some of their struggles last year, and it looked like, for whatever reason, uh, the coaching staff and all that were like just not committed to, hey, this guy's better in the moment, and either they can't see it or they're – they're hesitant to change, and it's like, it's been too long, too much. So that was a huge bummer. Uh, it was a beautiful, fun night. It was great to see everybody, uh, and I never, I never hate on it, and I wish the Buffs every bit of success. But uh, yeah, it's they're gonna have tough times. <laughs> they might have tough times winning a single game this year, and that's tough to say. Hopefully, they you know, hopefully they turn things around, fix it all, but. Uh, but it wasn't T. It wasn't T, Troy. T did not ruin the game for me. T kept me awake because after that delay sitting out there, <laughs> like it, you needed some caffeine to keep it going. But it was uh, it was great. So anyway, then I got home and uh, slept great for a few hours and woke up at like 3.34 and was like, okay, still caffeinated. Uh, now I don't want to go back to sleep. So yeah, may, may drag a bit here at the end. But that's all in the past. 
we've got Stardew, and Troy was asking about what is the red ring in the game. Uh, this is the vampire ring. We got this for killing a certain amount of bats uh, for Gus and Marlin up in the uh, Monsters Guild. And uh, every time we kill something, we get one or two health points back. Uh, I don't know if it varies depending on the monster or anything like that, but helps you keep your health topped up a, a little bit more. So after all that, let's try to remember where where are we at? What are we trying to get done today specifically on Sunday the 14th? And what else do we have to try to get done here for the rest of the days? Um, we'll check that out. You know who's at the top still. Uh, still by a margin, I believe. I don't think there's anybody else up there with him. Um, Sunday, we need to go to the Wandering Trader. Uh, it is raining, and we're hoping for more lightning. I don't know if we'll get it in the spring, but we need batteries. Uh, sprinkler efforts have come along very nicely, but right now all we can do is get one per day, uh, or one per week on Friday from Krobus. So we'll keep doing that, and we'll probably try to use any lucky days over at the Skull Cavern. Uh, we are working on gathering leaks. Here, let's... Uh, leaks for george we've got seven of 12 we got the rest of the season for that and we are growing garlic uh for lewis we just have to ship a hundred different uh a hundred garlic bulbs uh that we've harvested so we've got the seeds to plant those they grow pretty quick should go pretty nicely uh but we haven't really gotten to the point of harvesting those all right let's go check out yes our friends there he is, right up on top. Marnie's getting a little closer, but Linus is the man. Uh, still our best bud. And, uh, yeah, we've we've been doing a lot of work for Linus. He's been asking us for stuff. We've gotten a few things for him. but uh, And we did find out. Um, I don't know if you were here or not when I was trying to find his birthday gift. I guessed and gave him a coconut, and he loved it. And then the other guess, I wasn't sure which one it was. It turns out it's both. He loves both coconut and cactus fruit so we've given him both of his love gifts now and he likes a lot of stuff he's a good guy all around so yeah uh line is doing good <laughs> marnie's our animal salesperson she sells us all the cows and goats and ducks and chickens and all that kind of stuff yeah, so we're doing really good on the friends too we're we've kind of shifted focus and trying to get down to uh getting Pierre and Alex and Sandy and Krobus. Uh, we can't do anything with the dwarf until we find one more scroll. But, all right. I think I've reset enough. So Amethyst gets a uh, little affection on a rainy day. She's going to stay inside. Uh, beautiful and sunny tomorrow. No surprise there. Very happy. That is fantastic. And it is Sunday, so we should learn a new recipe. Hash browns. We needed that because that makes the complete breakfast. Uh... Yeah, hash browns. All right. Uh oh. So did we get lightning for that? If we got lightning to take out that, uh, oh, maybe that was the scarecrow. Pick this recipe up overseas. Enjoy. Want to say thanks for making me feel welcome, Kent. Crispy bass. Hey, no problem, Kent. Um. So I think that that's my sign that we need to. Let's just grab one of these guys. Uh, here we'll grab Snow Witch or whatever, whatever she is. If you guys have a name for this particular scarecrow, or if there's uh, kind of adopted names, let me know. All right, so we need a coffee bean, because this these will keep going all season, so uh, we'll switch that out. I am kind of bummed, though, that that was not lightning, but I was worried about that scarecrow. Uh, we're getting rhubarb. This is our very first rhubarb. And we're getting uh, kale here. So we'll get to plant two more sections of garlic. Which is nice to get done on a day when we don't have to water. Uh, boop. These two. Maybe we have more down down now. It's 
So, Troy, how's your week, man? I know you were nice enough to drop by a couple times late in the day, but uh, anything exciting going Oh, goodness. All right, we're going to have to go buy more garlic seeds or something. I think I will just go ahead and get one more in and just keep all these on the same, same tempo, and then we'll switch them back to kale after. And look at all those strawberries ready to go. This could be a, it's gonna be a good money day all of a sudden, which is nice. Uh, we need to check and see if Robin got done with our expanded coop. Uh, that would allow us to get rabbits for rabbits feet and wool. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> now I really need to get the seeds because I didn't just plant one of the sections and then the other. Uh, and we should count that. So we need 11. No, we need 21, which is that section's worth, so that's good. 21 garlic seeds. Yeah, no worries, Troy. Uh, man, that was good. All right, let's see how our fishies are doing. We've got, uh, squid ink and a quest. Oh, that's still the ocean stone. Yeah, we don't have that yet. Oh, and these get this is a new quest. What do they want? Nautilus shell. We got that. Alright. Boom, boom, boom. It's a good thing Troy stepped away. Uh, we can we can hire the green beans without offending. But I gotta say, green beans are good money too. And if we had taken that Piers Prime produce, this would knock us out in a single Pretty much a single day. At least it did the other one. Um, we got 25 gold star uh, green beans just from our fields, which would have been enough to complete that quest without using anything else. And you don't don't have to use any one specific crop for that. You can just anything gold star. That's a, a produce. I, I think it can be fruits or vegetables grown as crops. Pretty much anything that shows up in the farming category. And, oh my gosh. All right, up here, we're going to get ancient fruits. We are... What do we want to spend some money on? Uh, another auto-grabber? Still need 21, 21 garlic seeds. 21 garlic seeds. Don't forget that. Don't let me forget that. 21 garlic seeds. Cuts, cherries. Uh, apricots, cherries. Alright. Put these in here and those. And I'll add one more. We'll just. Oh. What? Man, I don't understand. I'm not shift-clicking when I get some of those. I'm just trying to put in one. All right. Animals. Now, our ducks may have grown up, maybe? Nope, not quite. There's Robin, though. She's still working. So we do still have to hand-gather these couple of eggy things. That's not too bad. Oh, no, no, no. There we go. Not too bad considering that we get to come over here and have everything harvested for us. We're still going to say hi to the animals every time because uh, they continue to get more and more affection. And particularly for Kate 96 Pig, uh, we get... No. Oh, go into the auto grabber. All right. This... Oh, this is great. Do have enough room. Just got to juggle. There we go. All right. Now, I think let's process everything through the bin. Uh, it is super lucky day. We still don't want to get the 21. We now have some rhubarb. Oh, man. Ah, I got a... Um, here. You, you, you. 
You come back here. Keep those. These two go away. Going inside, taking... Uh, this and this and this. Uh, what am I going to do with this stuff, though? Hmm. I don't know what I would. I can make another chest. I'd really like to put it in a mini fridge, but I guess I'll temporarily go chest. chest. Spare wood goes away. So once we get another house expansion, we can have more mini free I mean, we can't anyway. We can just set them around here. And the stove will actually pull from any of them. Uh, and I've put everything away. So no help. Alright, here we go. Now, here... Sell, 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 sell. Not sell those. Sell, 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 sell. We are going to make a pile of, pile of cash. It is going to be ridiculously good. Now, uh, we'll put those in, but I'm going to take you, 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 you. Uh, I don't know if wheat goes into anything directly. Like, you have to make it into flour first. Uh, not the hops. Not the cranberries. Um, actually, let's take a few. We can make cranberry candies. Take those, that. I don't know if ancient fruit goes into anything as a recipe. Why are those in there? Maybe that's why my inventory is so screwed up. All right. So all of this stuff can go up. These are future cooking ingredients. And that just frees up our outside chest. That you know, I could have left the spring stuff out there, I guess, cuz we'll just be piling on top of it, but now uh, let's get these two cuz I don't know why they're in here. There you go here. It is Sunday, 1240 already. Uh, where am I going to put this stuff? If I grab these out, I can protect those because I don't want to accidentally lose one. I'll grab that. And I do want to grab one of those for Sandy. All right. Holy smokes. That was crazy. But I think we're ready to go. Uh, we will run down, get our garlic seeds, run all the way back. Oh, and now we finally have enough coffee. We can just do this. In fact, let's do this too. Do double speed run. 21 garlic seeds. And then, I don't know, oh, oh, what is this? Tell me, oh, uh, four sunfish, maybe. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Um. 21 of those. And then we're going to be very good on garlic. So I will go ahead and get... Another three stacks of those just to have ready. I don't remember if I used up all the extra kale. Haley should be at home. Let's just go give her this. Uh, I should give her a sunflower, but I don't want to waste the extra time. Uh, since it is a good... <sighs> what is this? Oh. Hope Troy gets back in time. Emily's going to put on the moves. I did think it was kind of funny that, like, so I, uh, I, a lot of my friends still have our season tickets, so I'm not sitting right with them anymore, which is cool. Uh, it, you know, it's fun. It, we hang out for hours in the tailgate leading up to it, and then uh, at halftime, it's basically just for the seats of the game. And a lot of times they sit inside, and I would go out to the seats anyway, because I, I actually do. <laughs> so um, I'm sitting out there, and there's just randoms around me, right? <laughs> 
and at one point they take a TV timeout, and it's the CU dance squad down at the the end zone doing their dance stuff, and some some random dude next to me is like, "Honestly, is that anything other than they're just practicing for OnlyFans?" I laughed. I was like, <laughs> 30 old guys. They were older than me. I felt young, and spry." Except I gotta, I gotta say, nitpicking on uh, is Emily giving us a private dance? Is there are only fans with Emily? <laughs> Just, I'm glad you got back in time. See the parrot dancing with her though? It's just like Minecraft. Um, we'll give her the slow clap. Quite a workout. Dancing is a good word, man. You go to the clubs or something, school dance, whatever you got, be prepared to get a good workout. I've been this sweaty since I ordered the pepper platter at Abigail's graduation fiesta. No problem. Thanks for uh, distracting me on my really... Oh. So many cutscenes. Everyone has their stone. Oh, this is this is your most hippiest Emily moment of all. Yeah. <laughs> Close your eyes and take a slow, deep breath. Focus on your lungs. Okay. I'm doing it. Pure energy. Y'all doing it with me, chat? Troy. Tension and negative energy flowing out, leaving us more and more... Oh, this isn't good. I might fall asleep. I got to counter it with the uh, T power. Now open your heart to the vibrational frequency of your stone. Do you feel anything? I feel a stone. I, I don't know. that. That's one crystal stuff? I never get that. Although, yoga, meditation, all that, that's very good. I wouldn't consider myself much of an athlete at this point, but man, you get get some stretching, get some breathing in. Looks like the gems were put to good use. Oh, did I miss the the little bit where Haley was sleeping? Oh no, where is she? Oh, there she is. Oh my gosh, Haley, I know this isn't your favorite thing in the world, but we're good friends anyway. Okay, hard life. How she? Do? Oh, there she goes. Oh, she's locked in. It's weird. Two sisters are my two potentially dateable girls, but we're not doing anything with that yet. Uh, and don't worry, it's not an Emily run, Troy. You're probably gonna be okay, unless you know the rest of the chat rises up in in arms, demands it. Uh, okay, we gotta plant these seeds. We gotta drop off the other seeds, and then we're back up to Pam to the bus get what we can out of this uh, out of this remaining deal. Well, alright. Take this up to the chest while we're at it. Let's go. Let's go get some monsters slain. Uh, we've been once since we bought the gal or since we got the galaxy sword. It definitely is much improved. All right, I gotta get it. get adjusted here, ready, ready for combat. And now I don't have a sunflower or a, a daffodil for Sandy, so I guess we we'll, we won't even go visit her. I'll just grab this coconut. Oh, and we're gonna need to re coffee. Sword back in the hand. Let's go. Now, the question is, uh, when it says it's a very happy day, sometimes it's a lie. We'll find out pretty quick. But I haven't gotten, like, mobbed by serpents yet, so that's a good sign, I guess. Oh, there we go. That's a good sign. Four levels. Galaxy Sword, so much better here. Ah! Unless 
I can't switch it back. Ah! Run away! Ooh. Stung a little. We've seen this pattern before. They'll have to respect the little guys, oh, because if they do that, they're in trouble. But this is also how we get iridium. There's some, oh, which again would tend to imply that this is a pretty good, pretty good luck. soup today. Or pale broth or whatever it is. Nice. Oh. Sometimes they drop bombs or spicy eels. Alright, can you get me a ladder? Come on, ladders. Chicken noodle ramen and uh, gold peak tea. Strong, man. Oh, wow. Straight up missed him. That wasn't your fault, Galaxy Sword. Uh, that was player. There we go. Just take it. The deeper we get, the better off we'll be. Alright, that's... What we kind of want is to get, get them together and buy rocks. Boom. Oh, nice. Oh, almost got them. Those farm totems are great. Let's try another one of these. And another tea. Coffee, sorry. I've been drinking too much of my own tea. Good stuff. Good stuff. Come on. Up here. Oh, there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and grab these. Just in case. You never know. It's going to be really good stuff. No. Not since the airport. That's kind of... One of the things with that... I, I was thinking about that the other day. And I, I may this weekend. I, I might go out all out trying to get some biscuits and gravy with... Ooh, what's that? Fishing lure, I think? Uh, biscuits and gravy with jelly. I may I may get that done for you this week to try. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe Monday. Oh! But uh, with COVID, they closed a lot of the, the kind of like, you know, breakfast dinery oh, places. They're still doing good. We don't have to worry. Our health is fine. I saw a serpent up here, though. And again, it's grape, grape that I'm supposed to be getting on. Yeah, I want to go to a place and I'm going to be like, hey, uh, you guys got biscuits and gravy? And if they say no, then I'm going to turn around and leave. And then I'm going to go, all right, can you order it so that they put jelly on it before they put the gravy over the top? That's how I do it, right? Hopefully they won't laugh. They don't like gravy? Who doesn't like gravy? That's crazy. You're right, dude. <laughs> that is, uh... 
I, I still hold out judgment on whether this is a good combo or not, but not like in gravy. That's just plain wrong. I mean, uh, I like gravy too much. <laughs> Like, if there was, there could be a real problem if I had gravy as much as I want to have gravy. Uh, well, sure, yeah, I, I want to know stuff. What do you got? Uh, one of our UK buddy, Bobby God, I, I think you guys have crossed paths a little bit in the streams, maybe on the weekends. Uh, Bobby God was telling me he likes to do cheese on um, sweet and sour chicken. And I was like, that doesn't sound terrible. <laughs> I can't I can't say that sounds awful. I like cheese. I like sweet and sour sauce. I usually go pork, but I don't think that would change it too much. Uh, well, I used to enjoy eating peanut butter cracker packets with A1. So, like, the orange crackers with the peanut butter? Is that what you're talking about? With the little, like, sleeve of them? Uh, A1 never occurred to me, but could be good. Oh, man, we ran out of all of our, all of our speed. I got to check the time there. All this food talk. I'm so glad you're here, and, and I love that you're here early in the stream and all that. It's so awesome, dude. Uh, you know it. But, dude, all this food talk this early in the stream? What are you trying to do to me? Oh. oh. Still not the right one. We need the green one. Got a hole. Uh, it's a little tight, so we'll just do this. These actually give us a little more <laughs> health than I would. Hops are pretty ideal. Oh, dude. Okay. Yeah! You can take my health if you want to give me a full bar of iridium. Oh, I love my galaxy sword. It is galactic. And just like with the beastie boys, galactic means awesome. Oh, come on. Ah, it got me. Uh, I wish I had a smaller bomb there. It worked out. All right, one more. Pepper and coffee. See, I, this would be a ha horrible habit night of sleep. Oh, here it is, dinosaurs. All right, fingers crossed. Let's go this way first. Forgot about these guys. They're tough even with the galaxies work. But at least the uh pelvis. Uh oh, now we're already all full of how's our time? Twelve forty. Energy tonic. Alright, we gotta ditch so much stuff. Um this can go here. Can go here, can go here. I don't really need those. Um really need those. I don't know what of these is worth um, the most. I've already got one of those, so I don't need that, and I don't need a single quartz. Right, that's good. Oh, oh, okay, those guys weren't bad. I was like, what is that? Oh! Still no... 12.50. Can I get one more? No.
Nothing? Nothing? Oh, man. I wanted an egg. Alright, nothing here. Um, well, yeah, dude, we're, we're done with that. You already gave me your card. I guess he maybe just dis distributes those notes early and didn't even, you know, he left it in the in the skull cavern ages earlier. All right, straight to bed. We got so much money coming in today. Ready for this? Uh, okay, let me catch back up. No, just normal ones with A1. Okay, so the regular old, uh, like, kind of, it's not like a saltine. It's not really like a Ritz, but like the little packages, uh, yeah, 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 I gotcha. And then just normal ones with A1. May have been cheddar ones, actually, I don't remember. Yeah, weird combos. Um, what do I what do I do that's not? I'm sure I do. I'm trying to think. Um I don't I can't think of any like you know like a weird particularly weird condiment thing like that. Um you were talking about ramen though. I will sometimes do Worcestershire in noodle soup or like a quick ramen or something like that. Uh as as kind of a funky mix it up taste. Uh but that's not super weird I don't think. I much more, you know, Teriyaki, I consider pretty traditional, right? You put some teriyaki in with that. Uh, kind of mixes it up. A little Worcestershire just changes the taste a little bit. Um, not much really disgusts me. Here's the few. The, I don't have much in my diet or, or, you know, in foods that I really don't like. The few things are um, I really do not like raw tofu. There's not many places you come across it, um, but like in a hot and sour soup or, or something, you know, you go to an Asian restaurant, there's a couple different soups that have the, the little tofu chunks in them. Uh, if those are like a weird consistency, that it's the texture of that that gets me. And I really don't like sun-dried tomatoes on like a pizza or something like that. Um, I love tomatoes. I love a lot of different forms of tomatoes, but the sun-dried, I don't know, it just doesn't it, it, it doesn't do anything for me. It seems uh, completely worthwhile. But I, I'm not like a pick-it-off kind of guy, and, and really there's, um, there's really not many foods that disgust me, and I can't... I can't think of too many things that are like, like I said, uh, one day I was watching a show and somebody was talking about, like, you can drink sour milk um, because it's pasteurized. And somebody, like, you know, I, I don't know, it was TV. I couldn't smell it or anything like that. But the idea of tipping back a jug of milk that's gone sour and has that smell and everything, that absolutely disgusting. Uh, the smell of soured milk, I can't, I can't handle. Um... You hate teriyaki? What's the hate about teriyaki? Oh, it's wonderful. Kind of sweet. Kind of spicy. Uh, soup is so good. Well, good. Did you put anything in? Because you said you were having, uh, was it chicken? Chicken ramen? Chicken ramen. Do you put anything in your chicken ramen? Or is it just the, the flavor pack and the noodles? Look at that. By the way, 46 grand. We've been talking about all this food stuff. It is Saturday after all. It's fun to talk about food. Uh, awesome. Six grands, the leaders, ancient fruits and kales at gold stars. And almost ten grand in the silver stars. Another six in the silver star kale. What a haul. 
So that opens up a couple possibilities. Um... I think, I think it's all going Marnie. Rain again? Alright, just give me some lightning. Very happy again. This could be a lie. Loves to get you. Salmon berries. Uh, we still haven't foraged up to... Uh... Oh, more Emily. Man, Troy, you got here just in time. Granny. Oh, God. How is that going to mess up my... So now i got to get another leak. Uh, um, sell that. I think we can sell those. We'll sell that. Sell that. I think all these are the same. Oh, we did not have... We've added both of those, but we don't have any of them for the thing. Uh... Pull these, because I think we have bone fragments over here. Bump, bump, bump. Bump, 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 bump. Bump, bump, bump. Bump, 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 bump. Bump, bump, bump. Bump, bump, bump. Actually, this can go inside now. But a but a bump, bump. Isn't this an awesome tune? All right, we have got gold, iron, hardwood, coal, stone. Uh oh. Uh. Two iridium bars. We should look at if that can get us anything. These things all have to go inside. Da, da, da. Uh, this goes here. These two go here. These go. Oh, well, are we going back? I don't know. These are spare dark boots, so we can sell those. It's Monday, we should check the big board again. We can, we can stack up another big board quest and be working on three. Uh, we have to water today, but watering is getting smaller. Honeys for cash. Check the fish. Still have to water. I don't even have the watering can on my hand. Yet. Oh, we still need that. We got that. Uh, we don't have the sea Chris ocean crystal thing, whatever it is. Ocean gem. Uh, blop, blop. So Nautilus shell, water. I think this is all good because we just got everything. So yeah, it's got a day or two. Animals. It is Monday, so we've got two days until Marnie's back in her shop. That kind of stinks, because with the 60 grand, I'd really like to... Um, get that going. I don't know that I have had caviar, but I've had, like... Um, row in sushi. Uh, and like, all, all the sushi stuff, there's nothing there that that makes, grosses me out or freaks me out or anything. So like, the row is, you know, with fish eggs and uh, I am all about uh, having some of those on uh, in a roll, a row roll. Um, 
Sashimi and, and is it Unagi. Is that it? The uh, fish over rice. Just the little, like, pieces. I'm all fine with that. Well, it depends on the fish. I mean, it tastes a little fishy, but it's... it's uh, usually, that's where the whole wasabi thing comes from, right? It, uh... It's not overpoweringly f in your face taste it's uh you know i i, I kind of think of it as being refreshing a little bit um all right what are we gonna do with all this stuff we still got a water still got a water still got a water still got a water sell that sell those that and that watering can I don't know how that chest got so messed up. Oh, it's so good. I, I don't think we've really gotten to appreciate just how quick this watering can be now. Maybe we did once. But I'm pretty sure we got the the strawberry one, right? In which case, this is it. I gotta go check, though, because I'm not, not certain we did that. No, we didn't yet. So this Friday, this one will be great. Because then we just do that little section, and we're done each day. Still need a Nautilus shell. Let's give it a little coffee here for this little running bit. Best part is we don't have to stop to refill the watering can anymore. Let's do that when we're done here. All right. Quite noon, and we're doing extra stuff. Nautilus shell. That's what we get. Oh, there. One of those. And let's switch this out. And uh, what am I gonna do? Hops again? Yes. Alright, so now what do we do with a really good luck date? Do we try to catch sunfish and make Willy happy? Well, I guess we should go see what this big board quest is. Big board quest better than Willy quest. Carry that cheese around. Actually, let's just dump it here like we used to. Bye-bye, good music. Oh, and we do have sandwiches. Oh, and there's leaks. All right, so can I give her one to do the quick quest and will that take care of uh, the big boats quest <laughs> I would love to do the big boat quest we're gonna get there but I, I don't know what more he hasn't even shown it to us yet I don't know if that's an affection deal or what Nobody till Pam. Eight red slimes. We can probably knock that out. Evelyn, are you home? Everybody loves me now, which is the trade-off. Take a deep breath. Ah. Uh, purple sword is the best, like, flat sword in the game. Uh, later game content we can add stuff, kind of like enchanting in Minecraft. And then, it, you don't know. Do you get a good one? It's it's like random roll and chance, just like uh, the enchanting table. You don't know, but you don't even get the like pre-thing to tell you. You're just enchanting blind. Uh, I know it's best for for me. Who do you think you are telling me how... Oh, sorry, I didn't get into that. I'm your doctor, George. That's who I am. 
Harvey. You're right. And I went to school for eight years so I could learn how to help people stay healthy. Oh. oh I'm sorry. You shouldn't be here. These checkups are supposed to be private. George and, George and I have a special arrangement. Not so fast. I'd like to get a second opinion from this young man. Very well. Uh, knows what is best for his own body. Follow Dr. Harvey's advice. Yeah, of course. Like, if I followed my own advice for my body, I would eat biscuits and gravy every day, and it would be very unhealthy. Fine, I'll do what you say, doctor. All right, George, where's your wife? Well, it's your talker, especially not a stranger, if you don't mind like saying. Okay. See ya. I can't give you this leak because I gotta give it to Evelyn. Uh, big board. Big boaty board. Uh, bone or stone? If we do stone, we can go down and start getting red slimes already. Stone's easy now. Uh, let's knock that out. So we can double dip a bit. Okay. Got it. Get this. Evelyn should be right here. Evelyn, this is for your husband. Oh, thank you. This looks delicious. Okay. Have a lovely day. You know, you're lovely, Evelyn. Have that. Oh, it looks wonderful. All right. Boom. Boom. We need a thousand pieces of stone. Still need... Uh... Garlic, leek, more leeks, red slimes, and it was eight, eight red slimes, and uh, sunfish we're not doing, because that would waste our time. Yesterday I visited Yoba's altar to give thanks for my husband's safe return. That's very good of you. Uh, I wish Abby wouldn't spend so much time in her room, but the only time I've spent time in her room was when we played video games. Why wouldn't we like that? I think George would be a little bit upset. Is 48 grams of total sugars really bad? How many servings is that in? Uh, I'm guessing that that's probably a little high. Seems like a lot. Um... <laughs> that's Caroline. She She's our tea source and our hookup. 